Christina from the William B. Harlan Memorial Library, and today we're going to read Snowflakes, a pop-up book. This book was written by Jennifer Preston Shushkiv, illustrated and engineered by Yavinka Yaretska, and it's from the Jumpin' Jack Publishing. Most snowflakes have six sides. Some have twelve. The, the first person to photograph a snowflake in 1885 at the age of just 19 is also the person who first recognized that no two snowflakes are alike. Wilson A. Bentley, now known as the Snowflake Man, looked at snow crystals through his microscope and was amazed that each revealed a masterpiece of design. Through his photographs, he was able to share these masterpieces with the world. They look like lace. Most of the snowflakes Bentley saw in his home state of Vermont were tiny, formed by combinations of snow crystals, each created by water vapor condensing into droplets and freezing on a speck of dust in the atmosphere and growing as more droplets condensed around it. The largest snowflake in recorded history fell in Montana in 1887, measuring 15 inches wide and 8 inches thick. That's a pretty good sized snowflake, isn't it? And fine cut jewels as they fall. See how they're sparkling and shine? They tickle your tongue and land on the snowman's nose. So we can't catch falling snowflakes on our tongue, can't we? Watch their miracle before they melt. See how pretty they are and all the different shapes and sizes. The shape a snow crystal takes is dependent on the temperature of which it is formed. Some are shaped like columns, some like stars, and some like plates. Snowflakes are very hard for scientists to examine because they melt. And then that unique design is then forever lost. The snowflake man was frustrated at his inability to complete drawings of beautiful snow crystals under his microscope before they melted. So he turned to photography. All snowflakes are beautiful. Bentley published more than 5,000 photographs of snowflakes in his lifetime, each demonstrating the complexity, variety, and beauty of the infinite combinations of snow crystals. The snowflake man captured crystals on a black wooden tray as part of his unique process to best reveal the intricate details of each snowflake. Each one is unique, just like you and me. The snowflake man demonstrated that no two snowflakes are alike, but why is this true? The reason is that, is that snowflakes are each formed by up to 200 snow crystals. 
each consisting of hundreds of billions of water molecules randomly scattered throughout and each shaped by the temperature and wind. That process yields an infinite number of shape possibilities, so no two will ever be identical. I hope you enjoyed our book and learned a little bit about snowflakes. Remember, be safe and be kind. Thank you.